Candace Buckner, Washington Post. John, you know Toronto has the, you guys knew that coming in. Um, but is it, is it kind of surprising when a guy like Wright comes in and makes uh, seven of ten shots off the bench? Um, yeah, totally. I think their bench was great, especially him and C.J. Miles. They played well, um, make some big shots for him. And, uh, I mean, that's what they're going to do every game. You got to make adjustments. Both you guys, uh, Michael Grange from Sports Time here in Toronto. Both you guys were part of the sweep in 2015. What was your level of confidence coming into this building for Game One, knowing you've, you've won that one before? Uh, first person, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, it was the same. You know, we've we've been there before. It's not. Um, you know, we didn't come in with the mindset that we were going to sweep them. You know, we were coming in with the mindset that we're trying to get a win uh, on the road, and we take it a game at a time. Uh, we had an opportunity, several opportunities to win the night, close it out, but we didn't. Um, you know, you brush it off and you move forward. And, you know, we got to have one on Tuesday. Steve Brothers and Pro V-Ball Report, uh, I guess for both of you. The game was really close throughout until you got into the fourth quarter and they got a little bit of a separation. What changed in the game? I think it was a lot of they had it was a lot of sloppy plays, um, transition threes, uh, offensive rebounds, kick out threes. You know I think CJ and and uh, and Wright they hit they hit some big shots down the stretch. A lot of threes. Demar even made some threes in the fourth. Uh, so you know it was those those threes. I mean they were 16 from 30 from three. So that that hurts you. Uh, you know when you're. Competing, you know, and you're on the road too. So, and there's a lot of guys who we didn't expect them to make those threes that made them, you know, we live with those. Hmm. John, clearly you stayed in the game, but um, late in the fourth quarter, it seemed like you fell on your hand. Um, can you just talk me through that play? And, uh, and how's your hand? No, it's cool. Uh, I just shot a layup and then somebody stepped on it. So, I mean, I've been in that situation before when I had my wrist or hand stepped on and I broke it before. So, I was just hoping I didn't do the same thing I did in the past, but I'd be all right. 